Hi guys, welcome to my channel and I wanted to make a quick video about Armory Crate for my setup here with the Asus M16 with the Intel i9 and the, I believe it's the RTX 3070 Ti. I'm here, I'm watching Twitch streams just, you know, on the side. Then I got the monitor up here. Um, it's, uh, I believe it's a 42 inch. Um, it's not mini OLED, but just wanted to show you guys how to quickly set up this here for um, overclocking with Armory Crate. I mean, it's not that difficult, but I wanted to give a quick shot, a uh, quick show of how I make things work. So for the most part, if you have it here, um, you see GPU mode, if it's on ultimate and you have it on silent and you really want to have it silent and you got a little fan underneath this little stand, um, which I think I have turned off right now. Um, basically, if you have it on ultimate and silent, you can still play most games at 60 frames per second and it'll run pretty good even at max settings with the 3070 Ti. Um, but if you did want to, you know, bump it up a little bit and bump it above 60 frames, you click performance. Um, remember, you're still on GPU mode ultimate, so it's high clocking everything. Then if your machine does get a little hot, you could switch it over to uh, turbo mode, which makes it really loud, but it also makes, you see, it just boots up, um, the fans go max, and it cools off everything, basically. So it's a good way to like, if you really want to run everything max settings, turbo works pretty well. Um, because it keeps the fans up high so you won't thermal throttle now if you set up here with the ultimate and you got the fan on which let me turn on the fan here it's on the back there we go um, the fans on for the cooling pad you just switch it to manual mode you get a message here where you know you get this effect will only apply for a certain amount of time. I mean, it could cause issues. This is a saving thing. <clears throat> so this is the way I have it set up here. So the CPU is basically maxed out. And you, you gotta make sure you click this check mark to apply it. Then you get a bunch of warnings here that it might make your computer crash, whatever. Um, so you have the CPU maxed out and then I have the curve set like this at from 60 Fahrenheit. You see how the fans kind of kick down a little lower. I have it set at 62 and it'll only bump up higher than 62% after it hits 90. That's for the CPU, which it hardly gets to that point. And the GPU, I do a very similar thing. Spike it up to 62 and I curve it to 65. And when it hits 90, I put it at 75. So that means that my computer could basically be running kind of hot sometimes. But whenever, when you run manual mode, because it kind of overclocks everything. But for the most part, if you're running certain settings that don't make it go higher than 90, your computer will be quiet. So it won't be as loud as like turbo and it'll be running relatively the same as if it were running on turbo. Unless you're running a game that is very GPU intensive, then it will, you see when it hits 80 or 90, it'll be only at 70% fan and that will make your GPU hotter. Um, and it might start throttling. But what it means is that the fans are usually running running less than 70%, so it's a little bit less quiet. But what I do is I run it on manual mode most of the time. If it starts to get overheated, I um, if I see it jump to 85 degrees, um, which you could see here, GPU right now is at 60. And then the CPU is at 83, 78 is pretty okay it's running manual mode so it's clocking everything higher but i don't really need it right now because i'm only watching the twitch stream but i just wanted to show you guys my setup here um and show you guys how i do you know the settings for the the fans 
um, so that I could run games max, but most of the time the fan is less than 70%, so it's not that loud. Uh, so I'll show it, I'll give a close up of how I have it set up. That's for the CPU, the GPU is also maxed out, and that's how I have it set up to 60, 62, 65, to 74. But for the most part, um, if I don't want to hassle with too many crashes or just run a game at 60 frames per second, I turn it on ultimate and I keep it on silent mode. And that's usually fine um, when I'm not streaming. It runs pretty well. And then what you could also do when you are on manual mode, um, since it'll try to get as many frames for your game that you have, um, you could set your game to, so this monitor is capped at 165 frames per second or 175. Um, what you could do is cap your game to 120 and that'll make your GPU not have to run as hot, uh, as hot to boost the frames up past 120. Cause after 120, you know, 144, it's pretty good, but then the GPU starts throttling. So then, um, your frames will go below. Uh, the 120 so sometimes capping your frame rate to 122 120 if you want 144 so it doesn't spike up above 144 and then you should be good and it won't really overheat on manual mode but just make sure you set your game at 120 frames per second or around there or whatever your monitor is capable of doing most people's monitors are capped at like 120 or 60 frames per second so make sure like, so this one is at 170 so it does kind of heat up my gpu but anyway this video is kind of long and it's just a straightforward video i'm not going to do any editing i'm going to upload it um but yeah here's my setup here um it works pretty well uh i'll load up uh call of duty modern warfare here um taking a while but uh there we go. I think I have another RuneScape. <laughs> yeah, it's loading up. Uh, yeah, so on the menu is 120 and GPU is pretty low. I mean, it's only on the menu, but you know, it works pretty well. All right, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully this helps people that are using um, the Armory Crate software. And just a little video of how I have my setup running. Maybe it'll help some of you out. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure you like um, if you liked the video and it helped you. Uh, if you want to subscribe, uh, you could also click, click the button for me. That would help a lot. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day.